Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Saphir's leather cleaning soap to clean your leather dress shoes. One of the questions that we receive often here at Kirby Allison is when and how often should I be cleaning my leather dress shoes? And whenever it comes to the care of your shoes, there is really no one size fits all answer. Uh, and this is because it all depends on how you're wearing the shoes. Uh, but in today's video, I just wanted to explore in a little bit more detail the topic of how and when to clean your leather dress shoes and which of Saphir's products that you should use to do that. Uh, now here is a pair of bespoke uh, George Cleverly shoes uh, that I have. Uh, this is a hole cut, right? As you can see, uh, it's not just a hole cut, it's a seamless hole cut, right? So it's uh, a single piece of leather uh, and then a hole cut, seamless. There's not even a seam on the back of the shoe. Uh, now this is a great example of a pair of shoes uh, that really needs some TLC. I mean, these shoes uh, are not looking great uh, and that is because it's been a long time since these things have been polished. Um, now when polishing your shoes, uh, there's several different approaches that you can take and it all depends on just uh, the condition of the shoes. Uh, so if you're someone uh, that is polishing your shoes often, uh, you really wouldn't need to be using a leather cleaning soap. Uh, a Saphir Pomadeur Cream Polish and a Saphir Wax Polish, uh, because of the solvents, is going to provide light cleaning. Uh, so uh, if your shoes you know, look okay, they just need a little bit of a shine, uh, more often than not, simply using uh, the Saphir Pomadeur Cream Polish and the Wax Polish itself is going to provide that gentle cleaning. Uh, but then, you know, depending on how long uh, you've been wearing these shoes or how long it's been since their last, you know, kind of 50,000 mile uh, checkup, um, you might need a little bit more work. Uh, and that is where a video like our presidential shoe shine uh, comes into play, where we really go through an extensive uh, total restoration, if you will, of a pair of shoes, a thorough uh, polish and conditioning job. But in between the presidential shoe shine and just using a wax or cream polish, what is there? Well, every shoe is going to reach a point like this uh, sad pair of Cleverly's right now uh, that really uh, warrants or requires a little bit more effort. Uh, and what I mean by that is you can see that the polish is beginning to crack. Uh, the finish is quite uneven. You know, I have some, you know, some kind of hard spots right here that could be water or something else. Again, looking at the heel, you know, that wax polish is very uneven uh, in pretty significant ways. I mean, here on this right shoe, you can see there's quite a bit of, um, you know, there's uh, quite a few areas that have no wax polish. And then you've got these areas right here that still do. Uh, so how do you remove that? And how do you prepare this shoe uh, to be reshined? When a shoe reaches this stage, it simply needs more help uh, than what a cream and wax polish can provide. And at that point, you really need to consider using a product like Saphir's leather cleaning soap. Uh, now, Saphir has several products for the cleaning of shoes, and I want to talk a little bit about those. So the Saphir Reno Mat is really the strongest of all of Saphir's uh, products that anyone would ever want to use on a pair of leather dress shoes. Uh, we do sell a product that is a stripper uh, called the Saphir Decapant, uh, and that's like an acetate uh, that uh, will actually pull the dye uh, out of the leather. Now, the Reno Mat, uh, again, is very strong. It's very good at uh, pulling uh, waxes off of a pair of shoe, uh, any type of hard resin, um, anything that, uh, you know, maybe another shoe shiner has put on top that is, you know, really caking the shoe up. Uh, the Sphere Arena Mat uh, is really uh, our strongest product out there uh, that I would recommend for kind of regular consumer use. Now, you still have to be careful with this because if you go at it too hard, you can pull the dye out of a pair of shoes and end up with, uh, you know, what looks like a bald spot, you know, on the front cap uh, because you spent too much time, you know, kind of working uh, this end of the shoe and you actually pulled the dye out. So uh, for most people, you know, I'd recommend, you know, the Saphir Reno Mat maybe once a year, but not more often than that. So next to the Reno Mat, uh, we have something that is the Saphir Saddle Soap. Right now, we sell this uh, in addition to the Saphir leather cleaning soap. Uh, and to be quite honest, I mean, this is a product that, again, should not really be used for leather dress shoes. It's not designed for that. Uh, this, as the name implies, is really more for tack, you know, saddles uh, and other, you know, maybe work boots or hiking boots, something that needs a little bit of a stronger cleaner. Uh, the saddle soap uh, is a great product. 
as you can see, I mean, it looks just like the leather cleaning soap. I mean, you would work up a nice lather and you would shampoo whatever it is that you're trying to clean, uh, but it is a stronger cleaner and can lead to the dehydration uh, of the leather, which for a pair of leather dress shoes made from really fine leather, uh, you really wanna guard against. Uh, and so that's where the leather cleaning soap comes into play. Uh, again, one of the things that I love about Saphir uh, is that they have designed a lot of very specific products for specific purposes. And the leather cleaning soap is designed to provide that gentle cleaning uh, without dehydrating uh, the leather too much. So again, uh, you wanna be careful with this. You don't wanna you know, you know, to apply it to your shoes uh, and then let it sit. There is a proper way to use it and we're gonna discuss that in this video. The Saphir leather cleaning soap is available in both a 100 gram uh, version uh, and a 200 grams. Uh, if you're someone that has a lot of leather dress shoes, uh, I'd recommend you know spending a little bit of extra money and getting the 200 gram because this is a really great product that has a lot of uses. Now to use the leather cleaning soap, it comes with a sponge, you know, which you can use to clean the shoes, uh, but I would recommend using a natural bristle dauber. It's going to do a better job of really getting that leather cleaning soap uh, into the shoe and removing any waxes uh, or polishes that have built up. Now we have two daubers that we sell here. Uh, we've got our deluxe dauber, uh, this is our Deluxe Wellington Dauber, you can see. Uh, again, it's made from 100% tail hair, the same quality hair uh, that we use in all of our shoe shine brushes. Uh, our Deluxe Dauber uh, has about of an inch uh, pinning diameter uh, for the bristle. Uh, it's a great dauber. Uh, this is something I'd really recommend more for the application of polish, uh, for cream polish, uh, than for the cleaning of a pair of shoes. Uh, and for that, purpose, we really developed, you know, what is our Wellington Extra Large Dauber. Uh, this thing really is great. Uh, it's about an inch and three quarters uh, diameter uh, on the head. Uh, and again, it's made with 100% natural tail uh, hair, uh, the highest quality, the most flexible. Uh, it's not going to be bleeding a bunch of bristles. So uh, this is really what I would recommend. Uh, we recommend it both for leather cleaning soap uh, and the Saphir Omni Netanyat, which is the suede cleaner. Uh, this is a great product and something that really everyone should have uh, in their kit. Now, whenever it comes to using the Saphir leather cleaning soap, uh, you wanna be doing this uh, over a sink, of course. Uh, you would run this brush uh, underwater uh, to get the bristle wet. Uh, then you're going to take your leather cleaning soap and work up a nice lather in this. Uh, and then you're going to simply take the brush and begin shampooing the shoe. Now the goal is, is to remove that hard wax buildup. So you're gonna sit you know, shampoo for 30 or 60 seconds, you know, really working this into the shoe to try to remove as much of that buildup as possible. Uh, and then the important thing is, is that you don't want to allow uh, the water to sit on the shoe for too long. I recommend that as soon as you're done kind of shampooing it is to take a damp cloth and wipe all of that uh, leather cleaning soap and water off of the shoe, right? Once that's done, take a look at it. If it needs another pass or two, it's fine to do this a few times, right? But again, the important thing is to not allow the water to sit on the leather for too long. Uh, you don't want to waterlog that leather. If you need a second pass, uh, use the leather cleaning soap to work up another lather, use the brush, uh, work it into the leather. And then again, whenever you're done, take that damp cloth as soon as possible, wipe that leather cleaning soap off of the shoe uh, and dry it. Now, after you have cleaned the shoes with the leather cleaning soap, the leather will be a little bit damp. Uh, you can't apply polish uh, to a pair of leather shoes when the leather is damp. You need to allow that leather to fully dry. So my recommendation is to keep the shoe trees in the shoe uh, and then set them down somewhere uh, for 24 hours uh, to allow them to fully dry before you begin polishing them. So uh, it might take a day or two to kind of work through this process. You need to plan ahead a little bit uh, to use the leather cleaning soap to allow uh, the shoes time to dry before you go on to polish them. Uh, but as you can see with these before and after photographs, uh, the leather cleaning soap really does a great job at cleaning the leather, certainly more than what you would get just with the Pomodier cream polish and wax polish, uh, but not as strong and certainly not as risky as something like the Saphir Reno Mats. So uh, there you go, as you can see, uh, these shoes really need a little bit of work. We've got them uh, shampooed and cleaned. Uh, and so the next step is going to be uh, repolishing them. Uh, since it's been a while since these shoes have been polished, I'll probably use the Saphir Renovateur, which is that mink oil uh, cleaner and conditioner. It's really more of a conditioner than a cleaner. That's gonna provide that nourishment, that hydration to the leather to keep it soft and supple. 
Now then I'm gonna use a pigmented cream polish like the Saphir Pomadeer Cream Polish. Now that is going to further condition the leather. The Pomadeer Cream Polish is a fantastic conditioner, uh, but it's also going to add that pigmentation, that color back to the leather to even out the finish. Any types of scuffs, scratches, discoloration uh, is fully resolved with a pigmented cream polish. Uh, so I always recommend using a product like the Saphir Pomadeer Cream Polish uh, in the total care of a pair of shoes. Then we'll use the Saphir Pat Deluxe in Mirror Gloss to work up a nice high shine. Uh, so there we have it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about cleaning your leather dress shoes in the comments of this video below. That's just a simple, quick video talking about uh, how and when to use Saphir's products for cleaning your leather shoes. Uh, and of course, uh, here at KirbyAllison.com, we're always available to help you uh, best take care of your shoes. Of course, uh, all of these products and more can be purchased online at KirbyAllison.com. Uh, that is the best way to support the content that we film uh, on this channel. Uh, we don't sell anything on Amazon, so if you really enjoy this content and want to support a small business like ours, uh, make sure you go to KirbyAllison.com to buy your products. Uh, don't go to a store like Amazon uh, because we have a really a no affiliation with any of the Severe products uh, sold online uh, on Amazon.com. Again, if you have questions, let me know in the comments below. I all Always enjoy uh, getting back to as many of those questions and comments as possible. Uh, otherwise, I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching.